Hi everybody, wanted to just redo this video because last time it was kind of fuzzy and uh, the focus wasn't the greatest. So I wanted to just show everyone uh, a new video and the resistor values. So I've had uh, transmission shifting issues where uh, in the morning when the uh, engine's cold when I start up, um, I'm getting on a highway here and the, the, the car is stuck in second gear and it's revving very high and it won't drop to drive and uh, and speed up. So it's kind of dangerous and I wanted to uh, redo this video and resolder those uh, resistor values in the uh, ECU. I have a 2002 RAV4. So I wanted to point to you those resistor values again. Hope you can see it this time a little bit better. That's R330. That one there, and that one there is R330. And then dropping down below there, that one says 820, 820. And then further on down below, there's a pair of R330s here, here and here. And then shifting over to the left-hand side of the circuit board, there's an R27, R27 resistor here. I'm going to post on the uh, YouTube video a comment section the actual resistor number and the R value on top. So I've had questions from people about that as well. So I wanted to turn this board around and show you some other resistors that should also be soldered uh, and reflowed. Uh, so there's a pair of uh, two two ones here and here. And then these ones are R27s, this one and this one. Another pair of R27s here and here. And then over here, these are R10s, and here. So reflow those uh, resistors, and that should do it. What I've also done is measured the actual resistance value before soldering, and I'm going to remeasure them after soldering, so that if there's any difference that I notice in it, um, I'll post that in the comments section as well, too. So um, RMB is uh, resistor measurement before uh, reflowing the solder and RMA will be the resistance value after soldering. Okay, thanks for watching.